So far, all we got is, is this in the ground, okay? Now this is a, how's a moment of truth when we find out if it's, a, if it's producing water and how much. Um, and what's going to happen is every well is different, and I don't want you to... Um, I want you to have no expectation because sometimes it can be a gusher, sometimes it's not. And because we're developing with a huge compressor, we're putting in so much air, but sometimes that air holds the water back. So the hand pump we're going to put in does five gallons a minute. Anything above that, we're okay. Okay. But because of the size of the compressor, if we're getting 12 to less gallons per minute, we're not going to get anything with it. So we're going to have to bail. Because what happens is if we get 12 gallons or less, the air is going to hold the water back. But the idea is we got a one inch pipe somewhere around there. We had a needle over there. Yeah. And they're 10 foot sections. So we're going to have a couple guys holding it here. We're going to have a couple other guys bringing the next one in, thread them together, and just go down all the way down to the bottom. And then we have a plumber's team. So we're going to be forcing air that down that one inch pipe, force air, and hopefully the water will blow the water up. Okay? Now, um, like I said, don't don't be discouraged if you don't see a gusher. Sometimes it can be 95 gallons a minute. Sometimes it can be seven or eight. The important thing is that we get a well in. Okay. So when we're working here, we just want to make sure we get enough hands on the pipe. Uh, if we use pipe wrenches, make sure we don't drop anything. Okay. Um, and then we'll just start developing and see how it goes. And just before we even turn on the compressor, we'll get together with all the community and we'll pray, and then we'll turn it on. All right. All right. As it develops out, is there a possibility of getting more recharge and, and oh, yeah. getting more yeah. water out? Oh, too? definitely, definitely. So that's kind of the purpose of the right. development. Right. The more you develop, eventually the more water it's going to produce. Um, uh, we've had it where, you know, you get all kinds of stuff depending on how you case it. And sometimes you get a lot of clay and stuff in the screen so that you have to kind of play with it and shock it and stuff. Uh, the gravel pack that we put in, the gravel pack, we want the gravel pack around the screen at least a minimum of five to seven feet above the screen. The way we tagged it is, I think we got like 66 or 67 feet, which means it bridged off. A five gallon bucket of gravel in a seven inch hole with four inch casing covers about five feet. Uh, and that's depending if, you know, if we didn't open up a cavity, that's, that's kind of a, you get a good idea. So there's no way we can be at 65 feet. So that means it probably bridged off. So as we're developing, we'll go ahead and shock it. Hopefully that vibrates and let, lets it settle down. Okay? What, what is the purpose of putting the gravel above the screen? Why do you want to do that? Uh, I at least want to be at least five feet above the, the screen. Eventually on top of that, we're going to put in bentonite pellets. And those will create a seal. Those are, it looks like mints. What happens, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll put those around the casing when it hits water, it swells. And that creates a seal, a sanitary seal, so it doesn't, you know, no contaminants can get into the screen as the water is flowing in. And so if that gravel's up above the screen, and even if it settles down, right, we see. don't have to worry about the clay exactly. or anything getting down in the screen and clogging it. Right. 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 And the idea, I, I don't know if I explained this, the idea of putting a five foot tailpipe is. Eventually, any fines and, and, and cutting, or not, not cuttings, any fines that will come into the well, eventually will settle down to the, to the tailpipe uh, before they get to the cylinder. So eventually, over a couple period, a couple years, the pump repair team is going to come out, blow this up again, clean it all back up, put, put it back together. That's why, that's the reason we leave a five foot tailpipe on. Okay. Great. So we'll need at least two pipe wrenches, and let's start bringing over the one inch pipe and uh, make this work.